Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a reading for your counterpart, the person on your mind, your twin flame. However, the label resonates with you. We're gonna check in, which is also the spiritual journey. Um, I feel people from the past are heavily contemplative about other people from their past right now. You could be almost like random people random partners from your past are kind of coming into your mind i feel like it's because they're thinking of you and i think there's a lot of connecting in the astral realm even in a certain ways like this deck staring at me certain ways like that sacral that lower sacral area um but let's see what's going on with your counterpart your divine masculine if you're a divine feminine watching i usually channel for the divine masculine so where are the divine where's the divine masculine energy at right now where's the divine masculine energy at i feel like it's like six of cups or judgment or the sun or the moon <laughs> okay i don't even know why i didn't say the moon because the reason why i feel like a lot of this is coming up even though this is pisces energy is because scorpio is like the hidden depths of people like all the things people have tried to suppress, which is the moon, is coming to the surface, okay? The light is being shown on our areas that we've been pushing down, okay? Like I said, the sacral area, this is the sexual attraction, this is the phallic symbol, okay? These deep desires that someone has always had for you, they're not able to deny right now. And they could be sending you this energy, like it's almost like zoop, and you get it right away, you feel it. So then we have Ace of Cups reversed. But you see, I feel like they're still guarded in their heart. Like they're able to connect on the sexual level. And this could have been how your counterpart was. A lot of people have been having a lot of anxiety. Okay. So there's a battle here. It could be because they have other people in their life that they are with. Okay. I feel like there's people around them giving them a hard time about stuff. Like they have a lot of pressure. They have a lot of people like nagging them or saying things to them. I'm feeling Scorpio energy with the King of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Or what else is there? Current energy. Hmm. They're thinking about things that have not worked out in their life a lot with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Four of Cups ways that they didn't handle their emotions well ways that they played like um why did i just heard everybody plays the fool sometimes i don't know i feel like but this was their they were immature they were careless with you okay so i feel like they have regrets about that um they're really reflecting a lot on like I feel like they wish they could show you who they are now because they're a lot different. They're a lot more aware of their emotions. I still feel like they have a long ways to go, but they, um, they're a lot more in tune to themselves and they're like, and how they're operating. Let me use the sacred symbols deck. What else is going on right now between the counterparts? all right well that's pretty clear courage Ooh. okay yeah see that ace of cups is like fear or love or fear right so they know they need they need to get the courage here number 37 number nine and past life they could be having a lot of dreams it's almost like this was supposed to be the time for them to make a move like Th this was almost destined like this period in their life and their past life like things are coming to them they're getting clarity on that i feel all right let's get hmm what do they want to communicate to you right now the person that you're thinking of this is from heart and soul love oracle from carrie from celestial forecast i'm gonna shuffle these really good because i use cards often message 
messages from the person that you're thinking of or even the person that just wants to come through here for you. Declaration, okay? Fear, shyness, apprehension, courage, fear, hesitation, uncertainty, rejection, anxiety. It stops us from saying it, but it's always so nice to hear it from the one who matters the most. I love you. Wait. Sometimes having patience is excruciating. We want to take action, try to fix what's broken, what's not working in our relationships. Allow divine timing to do a thing, to do its thing. Don't make any hasty decisions. Take a deep breath. Just relax and wait. Just wait. What's meant for you will come to you. So I do feel like they kind of go to like reach out to you, but something tells them now is not the time. Let's get from the Starseed Oracle. It is weird because it's like the holiday time, so it kind of feels like it is the time, but like just the timing in their life, they're going through major shifts, and I feel like they want to solidify that. Okay, just like for both counterparts, what are they currently working on? I'm going to pull one from the Starseed Oracle, and I'm going to pull one from the Star Temple Oracle. Child of the Cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Okay. Ooh, I'm about to have a tower moment with my cards here, guys. Um, so, they're trying to go within, okay? They're trying to have more of a divine connection. Um, they're hearing, I feel like they're hearing things, like they're getting divine messages. They're getting more connected to things. Things are starting to click more for them but this is kind of just unfolding right now so i feel like it's this is something new for them this is a very new part of their journey that's happening this shift okay all right let's get from the star temple oracle both both people are awakening but i feel like this is a lot more new for the masculine energy ancient grandmother teacher i am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge you see within you and self-knowledge so there's a lot of focus on the self and focus on the messages we're receiving the downloads we're getting um the ways the universe is teaching us things i want to get one more from this deck actually the huntress quest the pallades light my quest to be wild and free uh, um Alcyon, Alcy Alcyon, number 12, number one. Okay, this could be something on December 1st as well. I was getting a couple weeks ago, or maybe a week ago, this energy of like the feminine, like this lioness energy of being like really bold and wild and free. So I feel like the feminine is coming alive in this very bold way. This also kind of reminds me of the archer the Sagittarius, which it would be 12-1 as well. That would be during Sagittarius season. Their wisdom is also part of Sag energy. So there's something that could be really coming about in the Sagittarius season, some like illumination, some clarity. I just looked at these words come back to you. I don't want to make any promises, but I feel like there could be some emergence or resurgence of some sort of connection around that time. It's just what I'm getting. Um, there's also this intensity in their eyes. Like there's something someone's seeing. Um, someone even could be kind of, I don't want to say like watching you cause that's kind of creepy, but they could be really in tune to your energy, to what you're doing. Um, and, uh, focused on you as well. I'm trying to think if I want, let's end with one card from the messages of love, all things intuitive. Oh, 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 you guys, I've got so much going on right here, like, a whole thing are about to fall. Alright, I'm holding it up with my elbow, so let's get one card, what we need to know about the connection, fate, this is a destined partnership, well, there you guys go, 
So if you had any doubts, that's confirmation for you. Um, whoever you're thinking of. All right, guys. All right. I got to stop because cards are about to fall all over. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.